In a couple of weeks, Indiana's mask mandate, as we've reported, will be turned into what's called a mask advisory. What's the difference? Well, this means wearing a mask while you are out and about will be encouraged by an advisory, but it will not be required. There are exceptions to the mask advisory. Face masks will still be mandatory at schools, COVID-19 testing sites and vaccination sites at all state buildings and facilities. And we're asking on Facebook, what do you think about Indiana's mask mandate becoming an advisory? Share your comments on our Eyewitness News Facebook page. Well, despite the mandate changes, don't throw away your mask yet. Some business owners say their employees will keep wearing masks, encourage mask wearing, and keep customers socially distanced. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett reports. I, I am tired of the mask. <laughs> Some people are ready for Indiana's mask mandate to be lifted, while others think Hoosiers should continue wearing them. I will probably still wear mine for a little bit longer just to kind of see how things uh, progress. I think it's a bit irresponsible. I think that um, we should maintain caution and we want to make keep everyone safe because we don't have to want to have to ever shut down. Even though things are getting better, I think it's better to err on the side of caution. While some people fear another spike in COVID-19 cases and another lockdown, some local businesses say even though masks may not be here to stay. You know, I'm surprised the, the masks are coming off so soon. Social distancing and frequent cleaning is. We already steam and sanitize everything after people try it on. At the end of the day, we sanitize the entire store, get it ready for the next day. Anything that's returned gets steamed in a 48-hour hold. We clean the door handles several times a day. Once we have a little spurt, we go out there and we clean the handles, we clean the counters. Uh, you know, we try to keep all those things. We wipe down our phones. Kate Sisko, owner of Piece of Cake Bakery, says that her employees will keep wearing a mask, but customers won't have to. Hopefully it'll make people feel a little more comfortable coming, coming in. You know, we're going to continue to wear our masks until... We get a few more people vaccinated and the numbers start to drop a little bit. I, mean, I think it's a good sign. I think we're heading in the right direction for sure. Brittany Cagle, owner of District 7 Boutique, says she's also waiting for the infection rate to drop before allowing her employees to stop wearing masks at work. And, you know, it's still going to be whatever my employees are comfortable with. If they want to wear it for the rest of their lives, that's fine by me. Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News. Well, basketball fans return to downtown Evansville today. This is a live.